Hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. Welcome back to, to my channel. So good to have you here with me. Um, I'm working in the, um, what's it called? Uh, countryside Journal. It's a 49 in market paper. And I kind of left off quickly with this. I had to I had something I had to get done. Um, so sorry about that quick video last time. Here's the little booklet that I had left over from one of these pages. This one that was the wrong size. We're going to sew this uh, yellow. Um, it's not really an onion skin paper, but it's very thin like an onion skin paper. So we're going to sew that in here. If I can possibly thread a needle with my poor eyesight today. <laughs> I'm threading a big eye needle, which will help. <laughs> okay, so we're going to Start by going through the center or somewhere similar. So we have that one. Now I want to poke one up here, a hole, and one down here. A hole here and a hole there. Whoops, <laughs> that did not work too well. There, now I can see through the paper. There we go. And maybe we should double this up. Just to make it a little bit better, a little stronger. There we go. That looks good. And then pull those that way. We don't want to run the needle through them because then we won't be able to pull anything tight. Just a little three hole pamphlet stitch. Perfect. My eyes are so sore today. Who why? Okay. On each side of here, let's tie a knot and then tie a knot the other direction. One over there and nice fat knot in there and then I'm just going to clip these like that okay now we've got that done yay put my thread up there poke my needle into the needle thing and we're going to actually apply it here but before we do that, we need to put some paper on it. So let's go back and look at the piece of paper we have that is this. Because we know we've already sliced that one up a little bit. Here it is. See, it's not a great big piece anymore. So. I figured since we had it on this side, we might as well put it on this side too. I think we'll go this way. So, top to bottom. Like right 
there. And I guess right there. Because we don't want we don't need to go clear to the edge. We have this um washi tape on here. I'm gonna get pretty close, but we don't need to go right up to the edge on it. Let me move this out of the way for a moment. I'm glad I checked because I would have cut on the wrong line. There's another cute little journaling card we have right there. Or maybe it can go on the front of our little book. We'll check. Okay, so this is going to go on here. And I'll put it down here first and then I'll cut that. And it's still too long. Oh my goodness, Ange. So we'll need to cut it off right about there. And I'm not saving that one. <laughs> Too tiny. Too tiny for me. And I need this. And this. Originally I was going to use um, green all the way around. And then I decided on the, the paper itself I needed to use the um, vintage photo. It's the Distress Ink. The Tim Holtz. I have extra stuff down on my new, newly turned over uh, mat so that I don't get it all dirty again. I'm using the dark side of my mat. And it seems to actually work pretty good. I was afraid that the dark side would make everything too dark, but really it seems seems good. It uh, allows you to see a lot of the lighter papers that are down on the... Okay, so yep, right there it's going to go. Put my needle up there. And like I said, after we glue this down, I'll, I'll clip this little corner thing out right there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No acting up. You're all clean. I even cleaned you before I stopped using you last night. Closer to this edge. Make sure we have things right set up and not upside down. There we go. Let me open this up like this so I can press that down a little bit better. Let's look at that. 
just a little tiny clip in there we need to do. Right there. Okay. Oh, that looks good. <clears throat> okay, now this. I think we better washi tape this back side. So let's see what washi tapes we have in here. Um, we have the bees and we have these flowers. We have some black chicken wire type stuff. Hmm. I don't really want to use that one so much. And I don't think this one will fold over enough. Yeah, I don't think so. And this one is too big. Just trying to measure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think we could use that. I think it's still going to be a little too big up there, but this is repositionable apparently. But I can see it started to peel that paper off there. So I'll get out the Fabri Tac. side with that. Oh come on. You can do better than that. Okay, it might be on there a little bit crooked, but we're going to put a little cover on this. And, but first, let's clip off this extra tape or our very fine oniony type skin paper is going to stick to it. there. Okay, this side doesn't matter. Well, it will matter actually. Well, you'll see why in just a second. Right here. So I think maybe we'll put this on here. Like this. I'm going to round that one because this is rounded here. And it is rounded uh, half of an inch. So to get it to match, 
it will be also half inch. Just like that. And then we'll put like a flower or something over here. this down oh boy my eyes are really sore we want to make sure we do this the correct direction and it's actually this way so now it may not look right because this is crooked on this side ah grr at myself Gur, gur, gur. So let's let's use this flower seed one and cut it off. Right about here. It will cover enough of this that you won't be able to tell. That the washi tape is crooked right there. We'll save that. It's a nice little saving thing. There we go. Half inch, half inch, around the bend. Just like that. There we go. So let's apply that to there. Besides, you know, with the yellow paper in there, this is kind of nice, the burpees yellow color right there on their uh, flower packet. Oh, catalog. Sorry about that. Yeah, very cool, huh? Okay. So we have that. Now this. They are going to want to slip some stuff back there, but it can't be very big. It's got to be little. Because we're going to attach it to here, and then we're going to make another one to put down here. Just like this. And it will open. And then you'll have to open it this way to get it out of the way to write on there. So I think we'll put it here. Just like this. And then maybe we'll put just another pocket over here. Hmm, what to do? Because that's too close to the edge up there. We could do a little smaller book there, I guess. We will. Okay, so there's going to be a little pocket. Carefully turning this. There's going to be a little pocket right here. 
for a little tag. We want to put this, well, do we want it this way? No, we want it this way. Okay. We want to be able to open it. So it's going to have to come just, just barely, barely over the edge there so that we can open it without it knocking loose from this piece here. And if we put a couple of them on there, it'll actually be okay. What I'm trying to do right this second is figure out where I need my little center point for my pocket. So that's two and a half. So right about here. We're only measuring from right here. I think probably right there. And just a little one. Just a little tiny. I hope I got it kind of in the right spot. Of course not. Yep, I think I, I did. It's, it's pretty close. Oh man, my eyes hurt so bad today. I think I'll go just a little bit deeper on that. The neighbor dog's alone again, so he's crying. Poor guy. He gets so lonely. I feel bad for him. I guess you can't hang out with them all the time, can you? Some days you just have to go and get other things done. And transfer that line over to the other side there. just so I can make a line back here and know where to put my glue so you can see it's just going to be a small pocket there so one thing we'll need to do is probably put a little cover on here so that this doesn't get taped to um, whatever slides in and out of it. So we could just use a piece of file folder. And not only that, the file folder will raise it up a little bit. Let's 
going to come in back here just about like this so we need to cut that off a little bit about like that and then we will need to remove this little piece right there like that. See? Okay, that will block that from um, getting in the way. If I glue it on the correct side. Now this will be just a little thin pocket. There's not going to be a lot that can go into it. Okay. There we go. Should be all hidden in there now. Better darken that edge back up because I can see the file folder back there. Just darken those edges. Erase a pencil line that I put in there. Right there. <laughs> right there. Okay. So right along this edge, and then right along this edge of the file folder, because we want the hinge to be free to open and close. Oh, that poor dog. Over here. I'm going to slip this right under here in case some of the glue comes out. And just barely over the edge so that that opens freely. that. Well, slide that back under there. We don't want glue to get in there and glue this flap to the pages. That would be very bad. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there a minute. And let's find one of these tags here, or something that will be long. Um, I don't know. There we go. See how that works? Just a little tag spot. And I'm not, I wouldn't decorate this one because um, the only thing that I might decorate it with would be like a stencil because it would um, it would get in the way. The pocket's just too tight. So 
So let's close that little guy. Get that out of the way. Take this. I'm going to put it on the, the back side. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. So if you if you got the kit from Shannon, you'll have this. If not, just use any stencil. Um, that kind of looks like um, a hive of honey there, doesn't it? And I'm going to do the same thing back here. And there we are. Just a quick little decoration on the tag. Um, had I have made um, hinges on each side of the pocket to open it a little better, we could have put a decoration on this. But um, the way it was, I just, just couldn't. So we have that. And we could attach something to this or put a second one in there. Oh, look at this. It already has the stuff on it. That's pretty cool. I think, I think it's good enough for now. Um, we might put a, a ticket in there with it, maybe. Put that back in there. Put those back in there. Put that back in there. And let's look at this. Yeah, isn't that cool? Need one more thing in there, don't we? Let's see if I can find a long, long ticket. Then that would take up this page, wouldn't it? I don't think this one will fit. Too wide. We could trim it. But I know I have some others. Or maybe not. Mm, maybe not. Maybe I've used up all my really long ones. Because I really like using them. I just think they're so cool. Uh oh. Just dropped a ticket. Oh, goodness. Let's see if there's one on the bottom. Oh, here we go. This is what I was thinking about. Like this one. I think I might have dumped one in my garbage, so I'll have to pull my garbage out here so I remember to look in it. Peel those little things off of it. I guess maybe we wouldn't put another thing up there. Maybe we would just put this to cover over them. I don't know. I mean, that could just be a flap there. 
Let me think about it. Okay. So, this is what we have so far. Yeah, very cool. And that, that's going to go back there. So, that's going to be towards the front. So, what are we going to do? Um, I think what we need on the front is maybe a couple of envelopes. there. A bunch of cards. Uh. Okay. Well, I guess hold on a minute. I'll be right back with envelopes. Hang on. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. I promise I'll be right back. I'm just a little disorganized today. My brain is befuddled. No. I just didn't think about envelopes. That's all. Okay, be right back. Stay right where you are, please. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So we were left off, we were working on this, and we made a little booklet and a little tuck spot. And so I was debating what to put up here. So I have an idea, and let's get creating that. But first I want to say hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I want to say don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, because YouTube loves the algorithm stuff. And leave a comment. I'd be happy to answer you or give you, you know, if you have a question, whatever. I'm here. Don't forget. And I enjoy your comments. They're always like so much fun to read. So anyway, let's get started here. And um, I'm going to put this piece of fabric tape up here on the top first. And so, it's got to go this way. Bring it down to right about here. I'm putting this on because I put it on the other one. And this really cracked when I... Um, when I when I folded it. It's a word and you can say it. <laughs> I got it. Okay. There we go. I'm going to fold that over to the back and then I'll cut the extra off unless I Huh. Glue it together. It is uh, gluey. Seeps right through this uh, tape. my mat clean underneath this one. Okay. There we go. 
So I cut this the exact same size as the other one, except for I'm going to put it on differently. And um, we probably won't um, make a pocket in this one because it would have to go up here. So I think what we'll do is put the pocket on the inside. But first I want to do this outside. I'm going to use another seed packet piece because that's what we have on the other one. And we won't need to make a latch on it because the tags from the bottom one will actually make the latch. The tags sticking up out of the bottom one will make the latch. Yeah, there we go. And let's see here. So this looks kind of unfinished right now, doesn't it? Let's come back to that in just a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and let's go inside here. Now this is the one with the black paper on the inside. I really um, am not fond of the black paper, but I think it's going to go okay with this because we're going to maybe add, not that. We'll add some tickets or something in it, and I think that'll be okay. So first let's put this pocket down. It's just like a tuck pocket. It won't, um, won't have a lot of space in it. I gotta start my timer. There we go. Okay, so there's that part. Now let's go back to the inside and see how we want to apply this piece. And I think we'll apply it right here. Um, I can see one thing it's going to need is maybe a little tab so that we remember that this is how you open it. So let's put that tab on there. Um, I think, I think we'll go ahead and make it out of this, but I might reshape it a little bit. We'll go ahead and use this. Let's see if that's what we want. Hmm. Or do we want it to be a little bit longer so that it... No, I think it'll be okay. I think we'll just go ahead and maybe we'll put it on underneath. So I'm going to ink that up a little bit. both sides because it's going to show not under here but up here well I think I'll glue it together here at the base and I'm going to leave a little opening to put um, maybe something through there we'll see now, because I don't want this to show on the outside, I'm going to put it in here and then perhaps we'll put something in here to kind of um, 
cover this little bump in the paper. So approximate center. I'm just going to eyeball it. Scoot it around a bit. If I line it up between a couple of lines here, I should be able to see just about where I am. So it will need to come over just slightly. Just like that. Now, what shall we put in here to kind of um, cover that? Do we need to cover it? Maybe it just needs a flower. Let's look for a flower. Let me put these somewhere else. I had tossed those away and then I thought, oh, I can make those into tickets. So out they came to make tickets. Um, a little flower. Little flower. Come here, little flower. Oh, now that is pretty. Something like that would work. And give just a boost of color on the inside. We've cut it off a little bit here, of course. But I kind of like that. So I'm just going to cut it off right about here. Better cut it at an angle so the roses will continue to grow. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's very pretty. Okay. Let's set this down here. And ink it up a little bit. use this glue all the time today. But I do like the way that it makes a nice thin line by the flowers and stuff. Up the stems and Sometimes, unless you boo-boo like that. And then, of course, this one. We want to make sure it's glued down because it's going up onto the tab, isn't it? One of them is. I think it's that one. Okay, let's get our flower all nice and pressed down here and um, tap in between the stems and stuff so we can get the glue off. Miss Libby is here. Hi, Miss Libby. So that doesn't cover it all up, but it does cover it enough to say you know, it does have a use, <laughs> and it's in use when you open it. Okay, that'll need to dry really good before I close it too much. So now we need just something right here, I think. Um, I think it needs something a little bit yellow. What could I put there? 
that would be a little bit yellow. There's a little bit green. That would be okay. What you got, Libby? Drop it. Thank you. Oh, she found this. Thank you, Libby. That was a good girl. Yeah, that would probably be okay. But I think we'd need to shorten it just a little bit. we go look at that I think that will look, work nicely just gonna press it down a bit off before it dries because I need to be able to pick it up just slightly. There we go. And now I'll go back and run some glue along this bottom because otherwise this bottom piece is going to um, come up because of how it's made. Uh oh, it's going to come up already. Now, now it's not going to lay right because it came out of its weave. Okay. We'll have to do it that way. We'll take some of the weave out that, and go up to where it's already glued down. I knew better. That'll just leave a little bit of fuzzy there. I'll show you here in just a second. See how it just left a little bit of fuzzy down along the bottom there? That'll be okay. All right. So there is that part. Feels pretty, pretty dry. I think it's dry enough that we can go ahead and apply it over here. some of this stuff out of my way. I'll put this in my basket where I'm working from or one of them where it will work and we'll take this and we're going to put it right up here. Now this one is poking out a little bit, so you're probably going to want this one to poke out a little bit. Or maybe not. It's um, It doesn't have much in it, so we don't have to worry about this flap not opening. Just don't glue right, right up along that top edge. Just glue like a maybe a sixteenth of an inch below it. And I think we'll go ahead and put this right on the edge. Alright. So to do that, we're going to need to give ourselves a little line back here. It's a linebacker. Okay, can I see it? That is going to help me figure out where I can glue and where I can't glue. So right about here. And like I said, we're not making this one into a pocket at all. It'll have the pockets on the inside.
and I'm not going to take it all the way to the top just a little bit below it and I know the glue is going to spread so I'm going to continue to stay away from that top a little bit Okay, let's check that. Make sure there's no glue se seeping out. Let's go back inside here. Well, did good. We did good. Okay, this piece. What I do with my bits and pieces? I don't know. I threw them somewhere. Oh man. Oh, here they are. Okay. So, by putting things in this pocket here, it locks that pocket. Now, this one does not lock. If we wanted, we could put a little tie back here and bring it to here and wrap it around if we wanted to do that. Um, we have enough space that we could put a a brad in there or a, not a brad but a an eyelet and then an eyelet up there So let's think about that. It does pop open and it would be nice if it didn't. Although the journal may hold it down. It's a nice little booklet, isn't it? But let's see. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if I could, oh, I know what we could do. I don't want to stick a brad in my chicken. No brads in the chicken, please. Um. See, this is what you get. You get me and my indecisive thought process when I come up with ideas. But this is all a part of the process, figuring out what works and what doesn't. So what I'm going to need is a little hole in here. And I want it, I'm going to have to turn this this way so that I can look at it. There we go. Get the garbage out of there. Um, what we need to do first is make sure we have center. So divide this up between the blocks and find the center block right here. So our center, we're going to need a little hole right there. All right. What a mess now. <laughs> How does this book go? There it goes. <laughs> We've got it all mixed up. Uh, looking for some nice brads or eyelets. Ooh, I have some nice snaps. I have to get a different object out to do the snaps. 
Um, no, don't want that. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this would work. So what we want to do, <laughs> you're like, uh-oh, this is going to be hard. Um, I'm going to take a double string. No, I can't because it won't work with a double string. I would need um something a little different. Um. <laughs> oh, look at this. I have this old stuff. Yep, that'll work. Okay, this is going to have to go through here first. Yes, I think so. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Need to cut that off. I know that's too long, but it will save me heartache in the long run. We're going to take this and punch it through there with that string. I'm going to pull the string off to one side. Okay. I'm going to carefully pull that up and I'm going to wrap this around under my under my eyelet just like that and I still have room to do all that so what I want to do oh want to make sure that's tight and I'm going to carefully just pull it up a little bit and put some Fabri-Tac in there Fabri-Tac should hold the um, string a little bit better. Make sure you're holding on to this part on the bottom. Wrap that around as far as you can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Look at that. So, we're trying to just wrap this around here. Let me get this tucked under and glued down. Keeping this pretty flat to the... Um, and you should be able to do this with a smaller brad, just maybe not as thick a string, maybe. Okay. Carefully carefully poke that through the hole there it is turn this back around and use your your punch always check to make sure you have the right um, pieces inserted so um, for these, the um, the three eighths inch or whatever it is, you really want to use the um, letter. I think it's A one or something like that. But always check and make sure that you have the correct one that you're using the correct one. Okay. So now we have that back there. Now that looks nice, but you're thinking, what the heck is that? Well, this is what it is. And then we might put something back here to kind of um, hide that a little bit. Now we need to make our little thing right up here. And I saved some of the things from this catalog when we cut it off. I don't know if we'll ever find it in here. But we might. There it is. Oh no, that's just a little one. Do 
could use a tippet. There's a bee. No, we don't use a bee. I was just going to hole punch something similar in color. Don't know what I did with it. I must have thrown it in the other box. Put that back up there. And I'm going to put this back up there. And then let's see here. Let's look right here. Now these are some nice extra pieces here, so I'm going to put them in this other place. These I'm using for um, making different things. Okay, it's not in there. One last place to look is right here. And if it's not here, we'll do something different. Oh, that would probably work right there. I just don't see it. So much for saving things. Probably saved it in a safe place. So it's safe. But this, I think, will work. Either side. This matches more of the colors in this. So let's use this. Get my hole punch and I'm using a um, Creative Memories and this is a three quarter inch circle. Uh, it's getting harder to hole punch with it. <laughs> and I like to do two or three of these. This is very thick paper. Maybe I only need two. Um, yeah, I think two might do it, you guys. Let's glue those together. go and we're going to put a hole through them with our pokey tool and I'll just line it up to get a pretty good approximate see I have it lined up on the thicker lines it's not perfect I know that it'll still be crooked but that's okay with me some things I can I can <laughs> manage to deal with if it's not perfect because I'm I'm not definitely not going for perfect. Now I need a little brad for this, not a giant one, just a little one. And the reason I need a little one is that it needs to stay underneath this piece right here. Oh, I'm going to have to make another one for the bottom. So here is my little one, see, teeny tiny. Yep, I need to make one more and I'll punch it just a little bit larger. I'll punch it with the, what is that, a one inch? Right there. There we go, right there. It's going to go here. 
this will go on top of it. So I'm just going to kind of line those up best as I can. And I'm going to punch that hole through there. There we go. It's not perfect. Not seeking perfection. If it's off like this thing was earlier, I'll fix it. Okay. We take these and this, our little tiny brad. You can see now when the brad's in it how far off it is. And then we push this through here. Let's open up our brad. And before we push it all the way down, just get on the ends of the little wings and pull them down. That's going to leave a little tiny gap right in there so we can wrap our string around this. Okay? So don't pull it down super tight. Then we're going to glue it. And I will glue over the little wings. There we go. We're going to make sure this is where we want it. Right there. I need to get under there with my bone folder right here. Go ahead and glue that down and make sure that no glue seeped up from the bottom through that little tiny hole to make a mess. And wrapping it around we go. I probably could have put it down just a little bit further. I'm going to cut this off right about here. Ta -da. And I think, I wonder if we should put some little some little fun stuff on there. What do you think? Fun stuff or no? Yes, of course, fun stuff. Look here. Oh, we have a rabbit for Alice. We have a butterfly. Oh, he's a nice metal one. He needs to be applied. Where could we apply you? You would look very pretty. Here's a little butterfly. We could just put a butterfly on it. Hmm. Well, if we did that, let me put this on the floor. Where's she gonna put it? On the floor. On the floor. I think I'll take these. Oh no, they're silver, but it's what I have. And I think what I'll do is put a couple of these on here. And I think I'll Run this back through. Now I'm just I'm just playing. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, I don't think it'll go back through. Hmm. Let's look at this. Nope, not that one. Well, that's pretty tight. 
I might need something with just a slightly bigger hole. Well, let me just try this. No, I'll never get that through that needle. If I had fingernails, I probably would. So I think what we'll do is we'll put on, and then we're going to have to trim that. We'll put on some of these. <laughs> now it doesn't want to go through. And glad I started it off longer. Four. Sometimes they don't go through because the metal is um, sharp on the inside. We'll put a fifth one on. And then, oh, we have a great big silver one. That won't do. Um, oh, I should have just put the butterfly in the middle and tied that right like this. Look at that. What about something like that? Maybe we won't put the butterfly on. Maybe we'll just put this circle thing on. But it would have been cute with the butterfly right there, huh? No, I'm just going to do it this way. It's different. I've never done this before. And it's simple once you get this thing knotted. There we go. The only thing is, is it might get in the way. Let's feel. No, it's okay. But let's see if it still fits. And there we go. Probably could have brought that down a little farther. There, it won't take you as long to break into your journal. Going to put glue on it. Going to glue it right with the beads. And I'm going to go ahead and slice that off a little more. I'm going to glue this piece right here where I cut it off. And there we go. Now we need to set this on something. We can set it on this plastic down here just like that. And or we can here it's, it shouldn't glue to that. There we go. So that is this pocket and this pocket. Now this one locks and this one's locked because we have our tickets in there. And then we can flip it up and we'll need something inside. Here's just a little old cigarette card that could go in there. And what else could go in there? piece ticket and maybe one more item um, oh gosh we better save this 
it's uh, like a train ticket. There we go. That closes. You can write in here. You can replace your tickets to lock the upper part so you don't lose what you got in there. And there we go. And then, of course, this wraps around like that. So there we go. Okay, well, we're done for today. Um, this added to the other video. It might make a long one. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to do that thumbs up for I like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing your names pop up. Um, and I want to say hi to Kathy Jones who just subscribed. Hi Kathy! Those are beautiful journals you made and I'm glad that you finally saw that I would posted them. Uh, welcome to the channel Kathy. And welcome everybody else too. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye!